carbs. Which carb sources are best? I did a video yesterday talking about the benefits of a controlled carbohydrate diet. That raised a lot of questions from you guys. Dolce, which carbs do you prefer? Which carbs should we eat? I'm going to give you a quick and easy cheat sheet on what carbohydrate sources you can eat to keep you healthy as the biological organism that you are while also keeping you sexy. We want to maximize lean muscle mass and reduce non-functional body weight. What's non-functional body weight? That's excessive level levels of subcutaneous and visceral body fat, also levels of extreme edema or water retention, total body fluid. We need to be aware of that. That's the puffy cheeks, puffy face, puffy body that washes out the veins and blurs the definition. A lot of you have body fat levels that aren't too terrible, but you look 5-10% body fat fatter simply because of total body water. We'll talk about that in a later video. Right now, I want to talk about those quality carb sources. First and foremost, we go to produce, we go to vegetables, we go to fruits, we go to earth-grown nutrients. I always point to the diversely colored berry category. That's blueberries, that's strawberries, that's blackberry, blackberries, that's raspberries. That is... Um, apples, that is oranges, that is kiwis, that is pomegranate, that is red grape. Those are excellent fruit sources. We can also talk about the vegetable category. We can talk about um, peppers and onions and kale and Brussels sprouts and broccoli and asparagus. All of those have carbohydrates in small trace levels and two, three, four, five grams per cup. That adds up specifically if you're on an ultra-low carbohydrate diet or a ketogenic diet. Those carbohydrates add up fast. Now, what we typically suggest at the Dolce Diet is having four to six servings of each. Four to six servings of fruit per day, four to six servings of diversely colored um, produce sources from the vegetable category. That's peppers and onions and kale and asparagus and all the things that I said previously. Now, you have a pretty good outlook on what your day is. And I can give you a snapshot of what my typical day of carbohydrate consumption would be. Additionally, we look at more complex carbohydrate sources. Oats or buckwheat or quinoa or white rice or black rice or sweet potato or white potato or beans or lentils. Those are great carbohydrate sources that you should be consuming in controlled quantities throughout your day. That sounds crazy because the, the, the pop culture media is telling you that sugar is bad and fruit has sugar, therefore fruit is bad. That's wrong. That's wrong, that is misinformed, and that is dangerous. That is not true. Don't believe them. Quality carbohydrates are necessary. Carbohydrate sources that are dense in micronutrients and phytonutrients allow you to consume a lower total caloric threshold while maximizing your body's nutrient need. Remember, as I said in the beginning of this video, you are a cellular organism. You are a biological organism consisting of billions of cells. These cells need the micronutrition in order to operate and replicate to keep you healthy and thriving, not just surviving. Some of these low-carb, ultra-carb, and exclusionary dietary programs can keep you alive, and you will see short-term reductions in total body weight, but oftentimes, the percentage of lean mass to non-functional mass is skewed. The scale will go down, but there's proportionate lean mass and non-functional mass that will drop. What we're trying to do is maximize the sustainability of the lean muscle tissue while reducing total non-functional body weight loss. The scale is not as important as the consistency of what is actually on that scale. If I tell you I have 100 pounds of cash that I'm going to put on the scale, or I have 50 pounds of cash that I'm going to put on the scale, which do you want? Many of you might say, give me the 100 pounds. That's, that's what matters most. Now, I have 100 pounds of pennies or I have 50 pounds of $100 bills. Which is more valuable? That's a rough analogy, but I think it makes the, it illustrates my point. It's the quality. It's the, 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 
um, the consistency of, of what is actually there. That's what we want to get down. That's what we want to talk about. And carbohydrates, guys and girls, help with that. Quality carbohydrates. Notice, we say earth grown nutrients. All of our food choices should come from earth grown nutrients. Non-processed, no synthetic chemicals. You're not going to see us telling you to drink a Diet Coke or an energy drink or a bag of, of you know, Sour Patch Kid fruit chews post-workout or some neon sucralose aspartame um, sweetened neon berry pre-post-workout drink. Never will we ever discuss or talk about that. Earth grown nutrients, real food. The quality carbohydrate source. Now, what do I eat typically in my day? Typically in my day, I have half to three quarters of a cup of oatmeal, whether steel cut oats, rolled oats, or oat bran. I'll have at least one cup of berries, whether they're blueberries or strawberries or blackberries or raspberries or a combination. I'll usually have a quarter cup of raisins. I might even have a third of a sliced banana. That's all the meal one. I'll also have chia seeds, hemp seeds, and flax seeds. I'll also have an almond or nut butter. I'll have cinnamon and usually coconut flakes. That's meal one. That's my breakfast bowl. That, that bowl right there typically is 100 grams of carbohydrates. My next meal is typically something that's very dark and leafy green that has some vibrantly colored other vegetables on the side and a lean protein source with quality fats. What would that be? A robust salad like I posted on my Instagram page at the Dolce Diet today. A robust salad with, uh, I had chickpeas on the side. Some days I will have two or three whole eggs. Some days I will have four ounces of a wild caught salmon. That's pretty typical for me. My next meal is typically a snack. I'll have an apple and a handful of um, cashews. My next meal is usually something lean, green, and clean. Lean protein, green vegetables, clean burning carbohydrate. This is typically a pre-workout meal. Four ounces of a chicken, maybe a, a cup of grilled asparagus, and half a cup of a white rice. I'll then train. Me typically right now, I'll have 20 to 30 grams of a whey protein isolate immediately post-training. And then 30 to 90 minutes after that, I will go home and have what we call our skinny sumo stir fry. It's typically four ounces of a wild caught salmon, half to one cup of a jasmine white rice, and two to three cups of some sort of vegetable. My wife is great about baking vegetables. We have a cornucopia of vegetables in my house. At night, for dessert, usually it's some sort of fruit. I love baked apples. I'll throw two or three sliced apples in the oven at 200 degrees, allow them to break down, sprinkle them with cinnamon and some raw local honey. That is dinner. It tastes like apple pie. That's a pretty typical day of eating for me. And you can see that we hit, I hit what I said, the four to six servings of, of um, vibrant colored um, fruits and four to six servings of vibrant cover, colored vegetables. I get my lean proteins. I get my quality carbohydrates all day long. I'm roughly usually 204 to 208 pounds of obviously lean and sexy steel. That's the truth, guys and girls. Now, what do I take and consume total carbohydrate content per day? It's usually, depending on the day when I'm calorie or carb cycling, it's usually between 125 and 250 grams of carbs per day. The meals that I mentioned are just an average. Sometimes there's more, sometimes there's less. Sometimes it's half a cup of a carbohydrate, sometimes it's a full cup. You can see how that changes. Sometimes it's one meal is half a cup and the rest are full, full cups. Sometimes all meal are half a cup of carbs throughout the day. That changes. The fruit and veggie intake typically doesn't change too much. The protein intake intake typically doesn't change too much. I might throw an extra few ounces of a meat later on in the day at night after I have my dessert before bed if I'm hungry. I might do as I talk to you guys about some sort of veggie omelet. Usually it's like a four ounces of a wild caught salmon. I have a ton in my freezer um, and, and some sort of vegetable on the side right before bed. Or it's, it's two to four whole eggs with a bunch of veggies in a veggie omelet. I'll bump that up at night also. That's it. That's plain. That's easy. That's my kind of go-to maintenance um, nutrition program that keeps my body weight relatively static. It keeps me somewhere, you know, between 10 and a half to 12% body fat. I hover naturally right around 11% body fat. I got myself down to 9% um, over the holidays, which was great for my New Year's resolution. I wanted to be in great shape prior to New Year's, and I was. I'll float back up just a little bit as I'm just about to hit a mass building stage, and then I will shred that off come springtime for summer. That's what I'm in the middle of. I hope this is helpful. I hope this video is educational. And I'm giving you real world examples, guys and girls. I'm telling you what works. I'm telling you what works. I'm telling you what we do with our athletes, what we do with our Hollywood celebrities, what we do with our high level corporate executives, and what we do with the millions of people around the world who follow our program successfully. This is the truth. 
You don't have to exclude whole food groups. You, what, the only thing that you should exclude is processed foods and synthetic chemicals. Outside of that, we want to eat earth grown nutrients as raw, as local, as organic as possible, as in season to the point of consumption as you can get your hands on. That's what we want. Minimally processed. I only want to heat them or cook them or tamper with them as much as necessary so they are palatable and so they are safe to consume. That's it. Look, go to my Instagram page. You can see many of the meals that I eat on a daily basis. It's all on Instagram at the Dolce Diet. Take a look at that. It's definitely worth your while. I'm going to keep putting real, usable, honest, transparent videos for you guys as we keep banging the hammer, letting you know what actually works. Until next time, boom!